do you mean by the term diffusion? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju, and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community, where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term diffusion? Well, let's find out. So, let us consider a particular semiconductor material like this. So, if this is a particular semiconductor material, then diffusion is a process by which certain dopants are introduced onto these semiconductor materials like this. So this process of introducing controlled amount of dopants onto a semiconductor material is simply what you refer to as diffusion. So there are different types of diffusion. So based on the type of dopant present, there are three types of diffusion that can happen. Diffusion from a solid dopant, diffusion from a liquid dopant, and finally diffusion from a gaseous dopant. What are these three types of diffusions? Well, let's find out. So first, let us see the diffusion from a solid dopant source. So for this, first we would have a quartz diffusion tube like this. Here we would have a quartz diffusion tube like this. And here, this tube is now connected to certain inlets like this. And now here, here there is a particular wafer holder like this. And on top of this particular wafer holder, we place the different wafers like this. So it's on top of these particular wafers, we need to diffuse a particular solid dopant. So now, now we need the solid dopant source. So for that, here there is a particular platinum source boat like this. And it is on top of this particular platinum source boat we keep the solid dopant source. So here we have the solid dopant source. So now here, now is the interesting part. So here, what we do is that we now start providing heat onto this particular platinum source boat. Here heat is provided over here. And now once this is heated, what we observe is that this particular solid dopant source that are present here gets converted into vapor form like this. Here, this solid open source is now converted into a vapor form. But now, here since now this is converted into vapor form, it won't directly go and diffuse onto this particular wafer. Here, we just have it in the vaporized form. So now, for us to diffuse this particular vapor onto these wafers over here, what we do is that we now give certain carrier gases over here. These carrier gases may be say O2 or N2. Here, now these carrier gases, when we give these particular carrier gases, it moves like this, it goes like this, it goes like this, and now here, this carrier gas will now take these vaporized open sources and would now diffuse it onto each of these wafers over here. This thus is simply how you can achieve diffusion from a solid dopant source. As simple as that guys. So I have briefly written it down. The solid dopant is kept on this particular platinum source board. And now here this particular platinum source board is heated to convert this particular solid dopant source into a vaporized form. And now here a particular carrier gas that is oxygen O2 or N2 is given which now transports these vapors onto this particular wafer. So now next let us see the diffusion in the case of liquid dopant sources. Here the apparatus is somewhat similar but here we don't have the platinum source board but rather here there would be another source like this. So here, here we would have the liquid dopant source and here this is a temperature controlled bath. So now here what happens is that with the help of this particular temperature controlled bath we increase the temperature of this particular liquid dopant source. Once that happens, this particular liquid dopant source now gets converted into its vaporized form like this. And now it goes over here and it mixes with this particular 
carrier gas and now a mixture of this then goes to the particular quartz diffusion tube and now gets diffused with the wafer that is present over here very simple guys so here this particular liquid open source is converted into its vaporized form by heating it with the help of this particular temperature controlled bath and then these vapors then now get mixed with these carrier gases and gets diffused onto this particular wafer a typical example of a liquid open source is boron tribromide bbr3 so now when this particular bbr3 reacts with these particular carrier gases that is o2 we get boron trioxide and 6br2 this is what we get when this particular bbr3 reacts with these carrier gases and now when this particular boron trioxide that is b2o3 reacts with this particular silicon wafer we get sio2 so this is a typical example of diffusion from a liquid open source as simple as that guys next let us see the diffusion from a gaseous open source so here in the case of diffusion from a gaseous open source we directly give this particular gaseous open source over here like this this gaseous open source is directly given over here like this and now this gaseous open source when it reaches here it now along with these particular carrier gases gets diffused on top of these particular wafers a typical example of a gaseous open source is diborane or b2h6 so these are as simply the different types of diffusion based on the dopant sources as simple as that guys there's nothing more to it so i hope you guys now have clear understanding of what is referred to as diffusion and the types of diffusion that are present and if you guys found this video informative please hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time i'll see you guys in the next video thank you